YouTube, it's Thea and I'm back for another TBR video. This TBR video is is not a month specific. I figured since I didn't get a chance to film one in November and December is always very busy with the holidays and with November being almost over, I figured I would just make a TBR video for you guys with the books that I would like to get to before the end of the year is over. So I will just dive right in and show you guys what those are. The first book on my list that I would like to get to before the end of the year is Jacoby by William Ritter. This book is a kind of Victorian paranormal fantasy. It, this takes place in 1892 in New England. It follows our main character Abigail Rook who becomes a personal assistant of R.F. Jacoby who is a paranormal investigator and on Abigail's first day she finds herself in the midst of a murder, there's a serial killer on the loose who Jacoby believes is a inhuman creature and while the and the the detectives are adamant to deny it and so the story endues. I've heard nothing but great things about this. I don't remember whose channel I saw it on, but I will link her down below. I've owned this on my TBR for about a year. It's the first in the series. I think we're up to four, but I own the first two and it is blurb that this is kind of like a Doctor Who meets Sherlock Holmes and so I, those are two things that I love and this sounded like it was going to be a really fun read. It's not super long and it takes place kind of in New England in 1892 and that always, when I think of New England I always think of like the fall and like autumn and leaves changing so I feel like this would probably be a perfect read to pick up right now. The second book that I would like to get to this the rest of this year is Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco. Um, this book is the December book that my YA book club that I am in is reading. And again, this is another kind of Victorian England um, mystery book. And I have heard nothing but great things about this. I know this sequel was recently, recently released and I've been wanting to read it for a while. And it feels it's again another kind of fall book that I feel like would be a perfect read in autumn. So right after I finished Jacoby, I feel like it'd be the perfect transition to go ahead and read this. So I'm definitely hoping to be able to get to this very, very soon. The next two books are two books that I would like to get to in December. And since December is always very busy, I don't, I don't try to give myself a big TBR, but these are definitely two books that I would like to get to before the end of the year, hopefully in December. And the first one is The Bear and the Nightingale by Katherine Arden. This book just screams winter. <laughs> Um, if you don't know what this is about, it says winter lasts most of the year at the edge of the Russian wilderness and in long nights. Priscilla and her siblings love to gather by the fire to listen to their nurse's fairy tales. Above all, Vasa loves the story of Frost, the blue-eyed winter demon. Wise Russians fear him, for he claims unwary souls and they honor the spirits that protect their homes from evil. Then Vasa's widowed father brings home a new wife from Moscow. Fiercely devout, Vasca's stepmother forbids her family from honoring their household spirits, but Vasa fears what they what this may bring, and indeed misfortune begins to stalk the village. But Vasa's stepmother only grows harsher, determined to remake the village to her liking and to groom her rebellious stepdaughter for marriage or a convent. As the village's defenses weaken and evil from the forest creeps nearer, Vasala must call upon dangerous gifts she has concealed to protect her family from a threat sprung to life from her nurse's most frightening tales. This sounds like it's the perfect winter read. I can just see myself curled up underneath the blanket reading this and it takes place in the winter. So definitely sounds, sounds like something that's going to be perfect. I haven't read a lot of books that take place in Russia. So this is something new for me. I've heard that if you are a fan of Neil Gaiman, you will really like this and I love Neil Gaiman. So I'm really hoping to get to this in December. I do know this, this sequel is coming out in December as well. So hopefully I can pick read this and then pick up the sequel soon after. And the second book that I would like to get to in December is Beast of Extraordinary Circumstance by Ruth Emmy Lang. This was a book of, this is my book of the month for November. I don't know much about it. I know it's a, de a debut novel and I know our main character, Waylon Gray, is an orphan who's raised by wolves and he owns a horned pig named Merlin. He single-handedly stopped a tornado on a stormy Christmas day in Oklahoma. 
He then knew how different he really was. The tornado was the first of many strange events that seemed to follow Waylon from town to town, although he doesn't like to take credit. I know this is like magical realism and it takes place in December and Christmas time, so I figured it would probably be the perfect one to read. So I'm really hoping to be able to pick this up in December. There is also a graphic novel on the TBR and that is Paper Girls by Brian K. Vaughn. I am so excited I finally own this. I have been wanting it for about a year now. I finally picked it up last weekend and and I am so excited. I've heard nothing but great things about it. I've heard it's just a lot of fun. It's super feminist and it's sci-fi and it's Brian K. Vaughn who I love. And so I'm so excited to dive into this and I definitely feel like I can get through this definitely before the end of the year. This is something I sit down in one sitting and go ahead and read. This is definitely something I could read kind of Thanksgiving when everyone's taking that after turkey nap. I can just steal myself away for like an hour and go ahead and read this. But I am so excited to dive into this and I've heard nothing but great things about it. The next book that I would like to get to is kind of an extra book because I don't know when I'm going to squeeze it in, but I definitely want to be able to finish it before the end of the year, and that's A Conjuring of Light by V.E. Schwab. This is the third and final book in the Shades of Magic trilogy. This thing is a chunker, um, and I don't know if I'm going to get through it before the end of the year. I had the first and second book back in uh, May or June, and I just didn't get a chance to get around to this because this thing is a chunker, and um, I only felt the second one was just okay, so it's taken me a little while to kind of dive back into this. Um, but I was watching, I was watching Reagan, one of Reagan's videos the other day and she was like, oh, she's like, oh, I absolutely love this series. And I was like, you know what? I should, I should try to pick up the third one. I absolutely loved the first one. So I'm really hoping that the third one is everything I want it to be, if not more. And, um, I don't know if I'm going to squeeze this in, but I definitely hope I can get to this before the end of the year. And the last two books on my TBR for the rest of the year are actually rereads. And they are Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince and Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. I read the first five books back when the Harry Potter readathon was happening and I didn't get a chance to get to these. And so I figured since I was rereading the series this year, I could get, hopefully get to finish these before the end of the year. While these books are very big, it's Harry Potter and I read Harry Potter very quickly and I can get through both of these in like a couple days. So, and the perfect like wintertime reads, I always feel like they, they're really warm to read around the holidays. So I definitely want to get through these and so if I don't get around to the if I don't get to these it's not you know it's not a huge deal since I have read them before but I definitely want to go ahead and read it so I can say that I've reread the whole series within one year. So here are the eight books that I would like to get to for the rest of the year. Let me know down in the comments below what you're finishing out the year reading, what are some holiday reads and winter reads that you like. If you've read any of these, what are your thoughts and opinions? As always, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe to get notified of when I post new videos. Happy reading, happy holidays, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye!